program that helps persons with disabilities find work is facing imminent closure as of the end of March because of a funding gap and a disagreement between the federal government and the province of Nova Scotia. Staff and clients of the employer support program delivered through something called the Collaborative Partnership Network are calling on both levels of government to do something before it's too late. Right now, 200 clients have jobs thanks to this partnership. This morning, we're learning more from two people affected by this. They are Matthew Jamison, who's an employment maintenance officer with the CPN, and Will Brewer is a client that's been helped by the service. Good morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you for coming in. I'm, I'm well. I, I, this is concerning news for you both, I know, because the end of March is sort of the deadline. How did this all come about, Matthew? Why is, why is this closure coming? Well, uh, basically, the uh, labor market agreement is coming to its year end, um, and we were told by the uh, Minister of Finance and Advanced Education that uh, it will not be renewed as of yet, directly due to um, the Canadian Jobs Grant. Mm -hmm. Which so is being that, cut. Which is being cut. It's being redistributed. So the labor market agreement, which was a program set to uh, target and assist people with developmental disabilities in finding employment, mm -hmm. um, at this point won't be renewed. And that was a, a, a partnership or agreement between the province and the federal government. Yeah. Um, so now I know that the province of Nova Scotia has been approached for bridge funding. What happened with that? Um, as of yet, um, there will be no bridge funding in place. So as of right now, as far as I know, come March 31st, um, there is no bridge funding until the federal and provincial come to a resolution. So that would be the end of the employment maintenance program uh, throughout the province. Now, Will, you've been helped by this program. How, how has it helped you? What has it meant? Well, <clears throat> when I first... Um um, came to them in 2008 when I first moved here. I uh, I wasn't I, I knew the employment, so my mom seeked out Tumor Cooperative um, as she was working next door, and it's been really great working with not just Matt but as well as the um, other other crew there. Mm. So now, Matt, when a client such as Will comes in, how do you how do you help? Um, well, in each case, it's different because it's an individualized approach. Um, depending on the individual, such as Will and the employer. Um, but really, it, it's a wide range. It can start from anywhere in pre-employment to helping them figure out the bus routes or getting the necessary equipment needed to get started. It could be um, hands-on at the job site, helping them learn the skills or job carve, task analysis, helping them break it down. So it's a smooth transition into the workplace. Um, and sometimes it's off-site support as well, so not necessarily having having to work with them on site because they have the skills, but helping them come up with uh, plans and strategies to deal with the anxiety over the new job or other aspects that just, again, make that transition smoother. Mm -hmm. So now, where, where have you ended up working because of this? Well, I had multiple jobs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so my experience was in dishwashing, and now... Um, before it that was Cineplex, it was Empire Theatres. Oh, okay. So um, when they moved um, the companies, I, uh, I, I'm still with them, and it's been nice. great. That's awesome. That's great. So now, March 31st, what would happen then, say, in your case or, or with other clients? Um, well, come March 31st, I'm officially done, so the funding's not there to provide the service. So you're out of a job. Yeah. I am, but what concerns me more is the fact that I support currently on my caseload 20 individuals okay. um, who are employed, mm. um, ranging from part-time to full-time, and um, so that's you wouldn't the, be there I that. wouldn't be there to be able to support. And like, for example, in Will's case a few months back when Empire sold and changed over to Cineplex, mm. Will gave us a call because he wanted a little extra support and uh, doing all the online paperwork and the transitioning from the one company to the mm. new company. Mm. Um, and now he's yeah. good to go and everything's smooth again. Mm. So if things like that were to arise for Will or other clients in the future after March 31st, they don't have that resource which could make a transition like that much tougher. Will, how are you feeling about all this? Well, it's a huge change for me, but because uh, with, um, with Cineplex, I actually, my huge reference was Bill Walker, former VP of operations, and he was my big reference, but I only got the job um, like through uh, 
uh, not through teamwork, but I was on, on my own terms. Mm. But then when I needed support, I called um, Matt, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. and he was. And you helped out. He, he helped, helped out. out a lot. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and the teamwork uh, cooperative is actually one of the partners in the Collaborative Partnership Network, so there are various organizations that would be affected by this. Thank you both for coming in. Thank I appreciate you. it, and uh, we'll uh, uh, keep with the story as well to see if anything changes. Thank, Thank you, you very, much. very much for joining us. Thank you. We have more CTV Morning Live coming up in just a few minutes, so stay with us. Time right now is 7.24.